Hi and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can create text with gradient colors and an animated effect for your site. To do that, we'll be using the text gradient widget from the key add-ons for Elementor Premium plugin. Right now, we're looking at the page where you can see some examples of how this widget can be used. This is an example from one of the key themes demos, so it's an image, but there are others here as well. With this example, we can more clearly see how the gradient text effect looks and works. You can see how the colors shift across the text. And you can pick which colors those will be. It can be fewer or more of them. You can select the ones that will match your site palette and use only those. And there are a few other style options you can use to adjust the look of this widget on your page. So, let's take a look at what options the text gradient widget offers. Head over to the back end. And, in the Elementor sidebar, search for Text Gradient. There it is. Now let's drag it over to the right. And this is how it looks by default. It has some placeholder text as well as a preset animation and colorscape. So, to start my work on this element, I'll first replace the text. I'll speed up while I type, there's quite a bit of text to replace. Alright, here we are. Besides this, the Content tab has one more section with options, the Developer Tools. When we open it, we can see there's just one option here. If we switch its setting to Yes, it will display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode, which we can easily copy for use elsewhere on our site. Ok, under that we have the Help section. There are no widget options here, only links to helpful resources. And that's it for the first tab. On to the second one, Style. In terms of the options we have here, they start with Typography. There are several settings you can make here, like changing the font family. I want to replace the default font, so give me a second to find the one I plan to use. There it is. Ok. Then we can change its size by using this slider or by typing in a new value. I'll leave mine set to 70 pixels. Don't worry, I'll be fixing the text overlap shortly, I just want to quickly change the weight to 400 pixels. Ok. And now we can head down to the line height option. There, I'll switch the value to pixels and make it 90. Alright, the text looks much better now. And we can check out the rest of the typography options, such as transform, where we can turn the text, for example, uppercase. Then we have the style option, which we can use to change the text style from normal, which is our default, to italic or oblique. Following that, the decoration lets us add a line over, under or through our text. Or we can use none of those, as is our default. Ok, we've seen line height, so we're left with letter spacing and word spacing if we want to add more space to either our letters or words. And that's it. After that, we have the alignment option. The text can stay on the left, or we can move it to center or right. I'll set mine to be in the center. Then we have the Enable Gradient Animation. You'll want to keep this set to Yes, as it provides us with the animation that makes the color seem to flow across the text. And speaking of that flowing color, this is where you can set it. I'll just cut the hex code so I can restore it after we've seen how setting a different shade here would look. Alright, let me put this back. There we are. After that, we have this color section with two items. These items represent the text colors. They are entirely separate from the animated color that's flowing to and fro. And it doesn't matter which order you set the colors in, as using the gradient degree option at the bottom will allow you to change the angle at which the colors intersect and indirectly switch their positions. So, for the first item, I'll replace this teal color with a lovely shade of orange. There. Once that's done, we can set the percent. This option lets you determine the area of the color blend. So, if you set 0% for your first color and 50 for your second, then the area where the gradient occurs will be between 0 and 50. But if you add a third color and set 75 for that, then you'll have another gradient area between 50 and 75% where the second and third color will intermix. When I move the slider, we can see how the quality and intensity of the orange text change. I'm going to put 25% here. Let's see what happens when I change the second color from white. 
Right now we can only faintly make it out because I have a light grey section background, so I need something bolder here. And that'll be a nice forest green shade. Now all these distinct colors make it easier to see where one item ends and another begins, as well as where the animation color is relative to them. And for this one I'm going to set 75%. By the way, the total of the percentages you use for your items can exceed 100. Because this is a gradient effect, there is overlap. It doesn't go color 1 cut off straight at 25%. The percentages you set simply help you determine the area for the gradient blend. So you can just as easily set 5 items and give the first 30%, the second 40, the third 50, and so on. And the colors will blend between the percentages you set. Also, for those additional items, if you want any, simply click here to add more. Then set another color and another percentage. Additionally, and this is very important, you need to set the percentages you use in ascending order. The first item has 25% and the second 75, not the other way around. Ordering the percentage values properly will ensure the gradient transition of the text colors works as it should. Okay, hopefully I haven't confused you with this because it really sounds more complicated than it is in practice. And we've reached the final option, gradient degree. By changing it, we can change the angle at which our text colors overlap. Since we're dealing with degrees, the possible values go from minus 180 to plus 180. In total, 360 degrees, or a full circle. I'll set mine to 180. That's a positive value which, as you can see, has made the text gradient horizontal. But that's just the text. The animation is set to keep moving left to right. Alright, I'll hit update as my element is done. We can see how the finished design looks with all the colors and angles I set. Overall, the text gradient is a very nifty element with only a handful of options you can quickly set it up. It doesn't have to be nearly as complicated as my explanation may have made it seem. In fact, now that you know what options you have and how they work, you can check out the page we started from and find some examples of how you can style this widget. The first one, as I mentioned, is an image, so we can't see the animation moving. But you can use the link below to visit that demo page and see the effect up close. Besides that one, we have the design I chose to copy for this tutorial, and a few others besides. The amount of text you use doesn't have to be massive, the text gradient is effective in small and large quantities equally. Finally, we hope you found this tutorial on the text gradient widget from the key add-ons for Elementor Premium plugin helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching!